Hey guys, Dustin here, CEO of 630, and today we're gonna to be talking about e-bike trends in 2021. Stick with us. All right, so let's jump right in. We're gonna talk about the e-bike trends for 2021. As some of you already probably know, some of you may not, e-bikes are really taking off in the United States right now. They're already very, very popular in a lot of countries around the world. So where is it headed? Where, what are the trends of 2021? Well, one thing I can talk about um, with e-bikes is really the trend towards higher speeds. And this is where it becomes a blurred line of bicycles or motorcycles. But something I see happening a lot is the development now of e-bikes that can go at a much faster pace. There's a few companies out there, Sondors, Harley Davidson, uh, they're de de developing bikes, which again, to be determined how they'll be classified, um, but that can have top speeds of upwards of 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour. So a definite trend is going in the development of uh, more e-bikes, higher pace, um, and the ability to really use them as a as sort of a regular transportation device in the road. You know, bikes are still treated as bikes, but there's this opportunity to develop more, say, bicycle, motorcycle, scooter-ish uh, type e-bike that could really travel with cars, cars in the main roads. I would say the other trend in e-bikes 2021 that's happening is passenger, uh, passenger e-bikes. And what I mean by this is e-bikes that can carry someone on the back. Uh, specifically, I'm seeing this to be very popular in the um, let's say 10 to 21 year old age bracket, friends on the back of the bikes. Um, it's also very popular in the 30 to 45 age range, people with families and kids, putting multiple kids on e-bikes. Now this is something I think has been going on for the last one or two years, but as more and more people start to rely on e-bike transportation, we're starting to see it pick up. So it really makes sense locally um, you know, for local neighborhoods or riding to your local market. If you have two children, put two baby seats on the back or put a trailer on them um, and take them with you. So I, I see that this is going to really explode uh, over the next year, especially as at this point, it seems as though COVID will at least be having some impact on the U.S. for the rest of 2021. Even with the vaccine coming out, there's still going to be a lot of work from home happening. People aren't going to be using their cars as much. Um, so I think you're going to see more and more e-bikes on the road with passengers on them. Uh, the other trend in e-bikes 2021 is really the explosion in the younger age brackets. Um, I think you're going to start to see more and more younger riders. And I'm really going to say as young as six, seven, eight years old, um, starting to get onto e-bikes. I think now, especially as more and more smaller sizes are coming out, um, really any height can ride them. Uh, but it's definitely practical, especially if you know parents aren't out driving as much and kids now, younger kids can have a mode of transportation to maybe take them to a friend's house that before could have been potentially a little bit out of reach um, with a standard bike. Now, you know, your children could get to a friend's house two, three miles away so long as it's a safe area to ride in and you feel comfortable letting them um, go that distance to get to a friend's house. But I think you're gonna see this trend increasing more and more over the course of 2021, which is, again, um, starting at age six to 15, more and more e-bikes in this age bracket just because it makes perfect sense. And quite honestly, it's going to take a lot of pressure, I think, off of parents to transport their children um, and also getting to school uh, things like that, which I think that's another trend you're going to see 2021 e-bikes is more school transportation, more errand transportation, more people just in general using their e-bike for their everyday transportation. As I said, we're all at home right now, or most people are at home. A lot of people are getting back into work, um, but a lot of people have moved. A lot of people have moved out of the cities. They're in their houses. They're not traveling as much. Um, cars aren't getting used as much. I can say here in LA, the smog has cleared up somewhat because there's less cars on the road. So you're going to see more and more e-bikes on the road just for everyday transportation, especially as the motor capacities increase, the battery capacities increase. 
and there's a more a larger variety of e-bikes hitting the market everybody can find a certain style of e-bike that would suit whatever it is they're trying to do on that day whether it's bring your children somewhere run errands um, even taking a pet to a visit or for a walk um, there's a lot of practical pet trailers and baskets um, things like that the last thing i would say e-bike trends 2021 is you're going to see a larger um, contingency of folks over the age of 55 riding e-bikes and the reason for this is it really makes sense in my opinion for this uh, age demographic reason being is it's going to allow riders to go much farther um, in no way will they be physically um, unable to go places that maybe they couldn't go on their bike so it just gives the uh, a larger capacity um, to ride you can go farther distances and you know that's an exciting thing uh, for anybody but I think really you know 55 and even up to 80 uh, you know e-bikes make a lot of sense especially if you really want to ride say 20 miles and you have that motor capacity to bring you home um, it's a great thing so I, I, I firmly believe in 2021 you're just going to see that sector grow uh, more and more the last one I'll say, e-bike trends, and I'm seeing it a lot, is foldable e-bikes. And uh, e-bikes you can bring with you, bring on a train, bring in your car. Uh, they're already popular now. I see this sector in particular growing more and more over the next year. Now, as I said, a lot of people are working from home, but some people do take the bus, they do um, ride the train, and you know these types of public transit, they may not drop you exactly at your destination. So a foldable e-bike makes complete sense. You can fold it in half, bring it on the train, get out, ride your e-bike the rest of the way to wherever you're going. Um, you could take it on a bus with you. Um, in particular, boats. I know a lot of people bring them on boats. Also, I've heard of people bringing them on airplanes. Um, people that own their own smaller airplanes fly to certain locations, get off. You don't have a car with you. You can use your e-bike to get around town depending on where that airport is located and it's not gonna take up much space, whether it be on a boat um, or an airplane, wherever you're traveling to. So foldable e-bikes are gonna be another huge trend that I just see picking up more and more in 2021. So that's my take on 2021 e-bike trends. If you think I missed something or I'm off the mark, please comment below, I'd love to hear it. Um, we'll try to incorporate all the trends everyone else is seeing in e-bikes. And don't forget, if you have any other questions, you can also call us or email us, the team at 630.com. We're always available. Also, if you're in the market for an e-bike, take our body fit quiz on our website. Our proprietary algorithm will, will take the questions you answer about your body and life and recommend an e-bike perfect for your body and your life. Also, we have a 365 day return policy. If you don't love your e-bike within 365 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. So thanks for watching, enjoy the ride, and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience.